Welcome to Weld.com. We're going to do a quick video today. Uh, this has been done before, but we want to show you some extreme footage here. We're going to put the camera guy to the test. We're going to do four different grinds of tungsten. We want to look at the arc envelope, the arc start. We want to get some real close footage of this. So we've got a 15 degree grind angle, really sharp point. We've got a 30 degree grind angle, which is what I use a lot of. There is a 30 degree angle with a blunt on, which I use a lot of on aluminum. And then there's a 60 degree angle, which just like it's barely has any point to it at all. And believe it or not, you're gonna, you know, you may think, you may think that this 15 degree grind angle super sharp is the one with the best penetration versus the one that's kind of stubby here, the 60 degree. Be amazed. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of, it might be just the opposite of what you think. So we want to show you this in some critical footage here. We're, I'm going to do this on clean 3 8 plate here. We're running 332nd E3 tungsten, uh, 100 amps. We're going to be grinding today on a, on a handheld unit offered by Praxair. Very nice little unit. This should be quick, simple, but we really want to show you the differences of these, these uh, uh, grind angles here. Be right back. Okay, I'm not going to be holding anything. I've got a fixture up here and uh, I've got a standoff, so I'm going to set these. We're using 332nd tungsten, 100 amps, pure argon, 20 feet, uh, cubic feet per hour. I've got this gauged off of this, so all of them will be the same. Uh, about a five second arc shot or so, just so we can look at the envelope and see what this grind does. This next one's gonna be 30 degree without a blunt. This is what I use predominantly, kind of depends on the application joint configuration, but I'll use this grind a lot. Kind of my standard grind. This next one's going to be 30 degree grind with a blunt on the end. Our last grind that we want to display here is a 60 degree. I don't use this very often, <clears throat> but I will use it on certain joint configurations, especially in piping. Okay, first one we fired up over here was the 15 degree, the one that, ah, god dang, that's sharp. The 15 degree one, um, super sharp end. And we, you saw what kind of envelope, what kind of arc that it created, and where would we use that? What's typical application for that? Personally, I would use it in something like an outside corner joint where I want more of a, a wider envelope, uh, not so sharp of, a, of an arc. I'd use it in outside corner joints, lap welds, and stuff like that. Uh, lower amperages is where I tend to use them. The next one we want to talk about, the next one we fired was the 30 degree bevel. And that's the one that I use a lot of all the time and just about, I don't know, I, I want to say about 80%, 90% of my welding because I'm just used to sharpening them that way and it works well in a lot of different applications. Uh, root passes, some fillet welds and stuff like that. I've used it. Uh, I don't really, you know, I don't really go back and resharpen. Sometimes I will, but I'll take a 30 and change it to some of these others. So, you know, again, I use this a lot. I mean, in, in a lot of the applications that I do for general purpose work. And then we get to these other two grinds that we fired. It's a 30 degree with a blunt. I use this a lot on high amperage stuff. Uh, because I don't want the tungsten to spit. If I'm up on the high end of the current carrying capacity of a 332nd or even an eighth inch for that matter, if I'm up on the high end, I don't want this tungsten end to, to 
to deteriorate and spit because it'll spit and it'll go right in the weld. And we don't want that. So I, I use these blunt and I also use this blunt on alternating current as well. I realized that everything that we did here was DC high frequency start to show you some good camera footage and everything, but I use this one here on AC aluminum on an inverter. I'll blunt that end. And then the last one that we use is, or the last one we fired and demonstrated was this 60 degree. And that little rascal there look, kind of looks funny because it's hardly, it looks like it hardly has a taper to it at all. I'll use this guy here in deep fillet welds or in situations where it's like um, groove angle, deep groove in piping and stuff and I do want to get some sidewall penetration or something, I'll use this guy a lot. So again, to recap, 15 degree, super sharp point, 30 degree, 30 degree with a blunt and 60 degree. Play around with them and, and kind of, you know, look at the footage and see what you're going to get as far as this arc envelope and then play around with them yourself. We want to come back and show some extreme footage, good tight arc shots, which I know the camera guy is highly capable of doing. He's the camera gangster. And we want to show some applications and then cut and etch. We want to do that in another video sometime. And we kind of look at depth of fusion, look at that grain structure maybe do it on several different types of materials. So hope you found this educational. Please subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And thanks for watching Weld.com. You playing? You know your, your carbon fiber rail rods over there are flexing. You gonna have somebody weld something up for you that doesn't move around like that? You didn't even have the camera on, what a